Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Yeah. Here I am, off Center Street Pizza. Get a stromboli, y'all. Stromboli. Nice little joint. And I'm coming in here to pick up my food. Yummy. While I'm waiting on my stromboli, they gave me complimentary fried ravioli. It's really yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Nice and cheesy. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T. And yes, where am I at? I'm in a different location today. I just want to come in. Um, I said, you know what? Let me get out of the office. Let me do something different and get some lunch uh, in the downtown area. So anyway, that's what we're doing for lunch today. I went to a little joint around the corner. You know, sometimes it's good to support your local businesses instead of always going to fast food. So anyway, today we're just doing strong bowling. Yes, 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 yes. And while I was waiting, they gave me a serving of, um, it's called um, their fried ravioli. So good. And it came with this marinara dipping sauce. And I did say my grace, but I'm going to say it again. Lord, I thank you for this food, for the nourishment of my body. For Christ's sake, amen. Some of y'all are sensitive to that. That's really good. That's the marinara sauce. But anyway, just wanted to come on. Thank God we're in August. I'm not as strict. I'm still doing my portion control. But I'll choose within the day which cheat meal I'm going to have. So today is my lunch. So I'm having a cheat meal. Now, of course, I can't eat all this. It will be leftovers for the next couple of days. And, of course, I'm drinking LaCroix. And this is the um, grapefruit flavor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do y'all see all that juiciness on the inside? Oh, I don't want it to drop. Oh, that cheese. Can you stand it? Can you stand it? But anyway, you know what? I'm going to have to give me a fork look like it. Yes. I do have my knife just in case I have to cut this bad boy. Anyway, let's get into it. Because I got 30 more minutes to get log back on. To go to work. Mm. I ain't even gonna front y'all. My body has been craving some type of pizza. Oh, that's good. while ago since the little pizzeria is not it's just down the street this John Brown Jack Lee was walking behind me and he was talking more cash money than a bank he had more cash money than Chase he had more cash money than Bank of America. He had more cash. He was talking more cash money. He was talking about some woman that had did him wrong. And she was the one harassing him. 
and 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 and, and, and he wind up in court because where I'm at is not too far from courthouse. I had to turn around and look at him. So I thought he had grew two heads, and he was talking so loud. And I wanted to say, young man, who are you talking to? If you're talking to the person on the phone, everybody else out here don't need to hear it. Mm. So, I don't know what his get down was. But whoever he was talking about and talking to, we'll call her Shaquita. Whoever Shaquita was. He, was, he talked about your mammy, your daddy, your sister, your brother, even the toe jam in your toe he talked about. Oh, that's good and strong. Y'all hear that? I let a little shivers of ice get into it. And here's that fried ravioli. That was nice of them to give me that. See, I think they did that because I had called my order in and they told me it was going to be 30 minutes. So that's why I called it in. When I get there, it won't done. It won't ready. So I had to wait. So, as they said, good things come to those who wait. Oh. Italia, Italian. My favorite food is Italian food, y'all. Love it. Spaghetti, pasta, of course. And, of course, pizza. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling y'all, this thing is full of everything. Mmm, the crust on it. Mmm. Let's see when you go. When you go to these type restaurants, your mom and pop, if you will, the ingredients are so fresh and you can taste it. Let me see if I can pick it up and bite it. Look at all those ingredients. Mmm. I had them to put onions in mine because they didn't come with onions. So you know, I was not going to be denied. I'll tell y'all something.
Well, let me let me just bust on out and get me another bite. I'm telling y'all, look at that. Look at all that in there. Oh. Uh, Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's just ridiculous. So ridiculous. So. I'm getting full already. I told y'all about Mr. Silver Fox. <laughs> he loves being outside with nature. Anyway, he, for the past, you know, 10 years where he lives. He sits on his back patio and he have always fed the the straight cats, you know, squirrels, raccoons, birds, you know. He'll go to the Walmart or wherever and, you know, pick up And pick up food, you know, to feed, feed nature. Well, mm. he started recognizing that it can be costly, and he was spending like he said thirty to forty dollars a week, a week. I'm just cat and dog food. Well, mostly cat food because he said he would put the food out there for the cats. But again, the squirrels, the raccoons, the birds, all of them would also fly down there and eat it too. And he did it. And they all have a code. Just like in nature, if you watch the nature, they all have their own signals and way of talking. The squirrel might go, yip, 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 yip. them birds be singing, yip, yip, yip. you know, whatever noise they make. And they know, so they know when it's feeding time. They all signal to one another. Well, we did the math. So he was spending about 160 bucks a, a month just on feeding random creatures in nature. And I tell you what, this car's alarm has been going off since this morning. I don't even know if this camera's picking it up. But I'm telling y'all, I hope by the time 5 o'clock hit, their battery don't be dead. Because that'll wear your battery down. But anyway, back to the back to the program. So again, we did the math. So, you figure $160 a month. Times 12. And he do, he's been doing that for 10 years. Faithfully, I said, ooh, that's $21,000 you spent just on cat and dog, cat food. I said, wow, when you see that down on paper, 
And again, he just does it just to do it, but. We said, you know what? The Lord will provide. He said, um, I'm finna stop, you know, feeding these animals because he said, because what happens is they don't went and told their partner. See, anytime you get free food, isn't that the same ain't that in in that the same scenario with, with grown folk, with us humans or people in general, when they find out free food, you know, once it gets out, you know, you might have had, you know, one or two come here and there. Okay, but once they don't start word of mouth, see them squirrels, them uh cats, uh even Bambi and them look, word of mouth is the biggest. That's why y'all need to continue to share Lady T sensation. Okay, I had to put that in there, uh shameless plug. Y'all have to continue to advertise and uh tell people about your girl Lady T sensations over here on the flavor train. What's up? Why can we ain't at twenty thousand yet, y'all? Why? Anyway, I had to interject that. But they don't went out and told their friends. They don't went over there and told the squirrel family, the raccoon family, the the, 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 the cat family, and, and they sisters and cousins. Yeah, come on. Come on over here, everybody. He, Mr. Silver Fox is giving away free food. So instead of it being one or two cats, now he said he looked down there and that cats were bandanas on from this, from the crypts. and. <laughs> He said, he looked up and all these animals started coming. And about 8 o'clock, he said, he got out on his patio with his coffee. He said, and they all just sitting there waiting. And he said, you know, sometimes he would break his focus because he would run out of cat food. He had to stop enjoying his cu coffee and run out to the store and get some cat food. So he said it became, you know, an unnecessary bill and obligation. And I said, you know, we all love animals, and, but sometimes if you if you just don't want to exert that type of money, then you just have to cut it off, and and and, and Lord and the Lord will provide, just like He does for every other creature animal, animal out there. He He'll provide. So you know, He made a decision that He wasn't gonna, you know, feed all these animals no more because, like I said, it was one or two. Now, like I said, they don't went and told. Uh, catnip, they don't went and, what's the Felix the cat, don't went and told this one, Tweety Bird don't went and told, you know, so he, he said, yeah, I'm going to have to cut it out because he uh, he saw that his, he was spending more, he was spending more, and I said, yeah, and I said, you do know that in some ordinances, in some, some jurisdictions in your state, if you're found to be feeding, uh, pets like that they'll they'll say they'll you know say that those are your pets and you have to begin to really take care of them like getting them spaded and neutered and all that kind of stuff now i don't know how it is in some states but it is in certain states and jurisdictions oh yeah if you if you're found to be feeding cat oh they'll charge you with all this activity and it become it, it'll become a nuisance and then, and then you'll be the one who gets fined so Anyway, we was laughing about that thing he said because he went out there the other day. <clears throat> so he hasn't been feeding them for about since Monday, so today's Thursday. Sunday was the last time he fed them. So he said, that's it. He said, and I sat out there and I talked to him and said, look now, when y'all show up Monday, that's it. I ain't got, I'm not feeding y'all no more. And he said, yep, sure enough. He said, they was out there. Some of them had little rocks in their hands and sticks. Throwing it at his back window. Now I'm being dramatic. But he said, yeah. He said, um, I said, oh my God, don't tell me they done went and had a revolt on you. He said, no, they ain't revolted. He said, but they came up there to the porch a couple of times and was looking up at him and some of them was meowing and the birds was jumping and dancing across them uh, tree limbs and stuff. He said, mm-mm. He said, I told him, he said, mm-mm. That's it, y'all. I'm not feeding y'all no more. And you feel kind of bad, but I said, you know what? I know. I feel bad for them, too. I said, but they'll get the point. They'll get the memo. 
by Friday, you yeah, know, the show's over. But isn't that something though? I said, oh yeah, I told Rex, I said, I told Mr. Silver Park, I said, oh yeah, they wouldn't show their cousins about you. And they squirrel talk and they bird talk. Oh yeah, they don't talk. Yeah. Well, just like they told them how you was feeding them, they can go also and tell everybody he ain't feeding us no more. <laughs> and I know that sounds horrible, but you know, you got to start out like you can hold out. And he recognized that that's just not a, a, a continued bill, if you will, that he wants to. To continue on with. So. Anyway. That was our little chuckle. That me and him had this week honey. Man. Some wild animals and stuff. Shoot. Shoot. They like gangsters. They got their own cliques. Anyway, let me set it on down, y'all. Thank y'all again for riding on the flavor train. Again, please share, share, share my channel. Mmm, that's good. Got a good flavor. That's a big piece of bread. I ain't gonna eat all that bread. I just want to get the rest of that cheese out of there. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. All right, y'all. Shut it down. So I can boot back on. And knock out the rest of these four hours. I'm going to go to the gym tonight. Get it in. Anyway. Again, thanks for stopping by the flavor train. Because what? Flavors, where is that? Y'all have a good day. Stay tuned for Sunday Family Moot Bang. And hopefully Tony will be in the house. Anyway, love y'all. And see you on the next one. Bye.